Welcome to Studio Code. Today we have a very special guest with us, Mr. God of Sain. Although he doesn't need any introduction, but still, he is one of the pioneers of starting system design tutorials and uh, teaching competitive coding online on YouTube. You must already know him, and he is here today to talk uh, with us how you can become a software engineer from a fresher. And this is the part one of this video. We are going to talk to him about different situations and what you can do to improve and progress when you join a company uh, as a fresher. Uh, and then uh, he'll tell us some stories, maybe some funny stories. And then let's see how it goes. So let's get started. Okay, Gaurav. Now uh, here is a uh, situation that uh, when uh, suppose I am I just got a job and I have around a month and a half to start and I'm very uh, excited and energetic and I want to know what I can do in uh, those 1.5 months so that when I just start working I I get a hold of things and I get a head start. Uh, what are the things that I can work on or what are the things that I can learn beforehand in order to ease up uh, the first uh, two three months at the job. There are a few topics that I personally would have liked to have known beforehand. It would have helped me a lot when I had joined. Number one, using Git. Number two, read about dependency injection. Point number three, read up on distributed systems. Super important. Try to figure out what are the problems that they solve and what are the problems that they introduce. After this, concurrency. These are the important topics. Like these four, by the way, will take you probably one and a half months anyway. And make a habit of writing tests, understand how test-driven development works. It will be a requirement that no code of yours can go into production without writing tests. You should be very handy with uh, Linux systems, like all the basic Linux commands or checking, just checking the uh, performance of a system, just doing grep and ps, like basics of Linux. You can find so many uh, cheat sheets out there. So make sure you have all this uh, in your toolbox before you join. So Yogita, let's say that this is my first day as a software engineer. I just got a job. As a software engineer, what do I what do I start doing immediately? So yeah, once your paperwork is done and you have talked to your teammates, maybe they will already tell you uh, in what team you're going to work. And after exchanging greetings and everything, the first thing that you should do is like uh, request your seniors or just get your ID set up, your, your dev environment set up. You should have everything that you need in order to run the applications or the code bases that you have to work on. They should all work in local. You should have the idea of what uh, tech stack they're going to work on. If you are diligent, maybe you would just uh, before joining a week you would ask them that what is the tech stack you work on and you know brush a little brush up a little so yeah that would be the first thing to do set up your productivity tools set up your uh, system so that you are like just ready to work and then yeah just uh, start looking at the code base start looking at the issues and uh, I and uh, I'm sure like from there onwards the seniors will start to guide you they start telling you that uh, what you have to work on or how they are working. Most companies work in scrums and all, so you will get a hang of it. But yeah, first thing, set up your environment, set up your system. Were you able to do it fast? Because it took me like, I think a couple of days just to get this thing running. <laughs> it takes one, sometimes two days. So some companies have everything set up before. They will have uh, everything containerized and they will have a development version of that. But as you said, it will break in test cases. You will not have the local copy of the data. You might not have proper authorization tokens. So it will just take time. And as you said, that making sure everything runs on your system, uh, the, all the code should be building on your system. You should be able to run test cases and then just like run the code and see that how everything is working. So that is the thing for first uh, one or two days to do. Yeah, I also had a very interesting experience on my first day. This was my internship. My mentor said that, what do you think your strengths are? Or what would you like to work on? So I said, I'm good with computer graphics. And they said that, okay, we do most of our graphical work with JavaScript. So I thought Java and JavaScript are the same thing. So I said, yeah, I'm quite accustomed with JavaScript. I can easily work on this project. But after some time, of course, that didn't go very well. Okay, so despite all this, Yogita, if let's say I study a lot, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, in the in the workspace, what's going to happen inevitably is that I'll have doubts. 
So it yeah. might be that uh, I'm trying to run something, but it's not working and nothing is working. So what do I do then? Uh, how do I go about? Okay, that's that's a, that's a very great, uh, good question, and this will happen a lot. Even if you when even if you become senior and you join new teams, even then it is going to happen. So the skill that you have to develop as a as an engineer here is try to first try to understand how things work uh, under the hood, and second, uh, googling is a very good skill. Whatever you think you don't know, and if you can Google it, just like Google it. Uh, read through some Stack Overflow post and some blog post. You you will find the answers. But if something is internal, which is uh, only related to company, and you cannot find it on Google, obviously, for that you can uh, seek your uh, seniors' help. But one quality that any senior would appreciate, or it will actually be helpful for you also to grow, is if you ask them relevant questions. So, like we say that there are no stupid questions, but they can be relevant and irrelevant questions. Uh, you can tell your story after this. So, <laughs> so you should uh, you should ask relevant questions, and when you're going to them with an error, just uh, tell them that see, I this is the error, this is happening, and I have tried one, two, three to mitigate it, but now I am stuck. If you go to them with an error, just show like, look, there is this error. You know what they're going to say? Just copy paste that error into Google. And see what's happening. But if it's if it is something internal which is related to their systems, they they will jump on to help you. So being independent in figuring out issues, being independent in debugging issues, and also having the skill to uh, unblock yourself, Google and unblock yourself. That's uh, that's a that's a skill that is valued a lot, and it will help you grow very fast. And it will sort of impress your uh, senior engi engineers also because they have a lot to do and everybody likes an independent person so i think that that is uh, how you should proceed uh, when you f uh, run into issues at work and uh, god uh, would you like to like uh, give any incidents like uh, what happened when you were working and you were uh, like uh, when yeah. you started so number 1 find a mentor you, this doesn't need to be a person who's assigned to you also in startups you don't have exactly let's say a mentor assigned to you properly but find someone who can help you out. Don't nag them about a few things. They say there are no such thing as stupid questions. Uh, that's a stupid statement, honestly, because there are such things as stupid questions. If you go and ask people that, what is Maven? Or, okay, what is Java? No, things that you can Google, you Google. <laughs> what is Maven? By the way, that stupid question was asked by me. <laughs> so first day in office, I'm like, what is Maven? So I turned around and I asked the guy, what is Maven? So he had a revolving chair and he revolves and then he says, Ek kaam karo, Google kar lo. <laughs> and fresh out of college, you go like, oh my God, that's such a huge hit to my ego. I'm never going to ask a question again to this guy. It was mean, yes. But if you think of it, these guys are handling production issues and all of these pressures that they have in their life. And then there's this new kid who's asking them questions that they can easily resolve. You're getting paid a salary for a for a reason, not just for getting things done, but also learning things and doing it by yourself. You know, you all know about the person in practicals who's nagging you that ye code kaise likha, how do you, how did you fix it and all that, and you get irritated by that. It's going to be much more in in the workplace. So honestly, like uh, both of us completely agree on this point. I think that ask good questions, not stupid ones. Yeah. I think Yogita, this uh, probably happened to you, so that I can take half of my embarrassment away, right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I think I think your senior was still polite to tell you that a kam karo Google karlo. My my like peer or senior was like he just sent me a let me Google that for you link, and I was so embarrassed and hurt and but actually he was right. <laughs> I felt that I could I should have done done this myself. He shouldn't be you know like needing to tell me to do this. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really a form of like tough love, I think. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> tough love is is the word for it. Yeah, yeah. You come out of college all fresh, all like you know. I'm a super person. Uh, I'm I've cleared these interviews by myself. I, I'm sure I'm uh, I'm more than enough. But then you you get to office and you realize that one very critical aspect about this, and it's it's in every stream, not software engineering only. I talk to my brother. He's an investment banker. Feels the same way. Uh, I have spoken to people in law, they feel the same way, like if you ask a senior lawyer, what does this mean? Just goddamn like read a book or Google it out. That's their attitude also. So yeah. the smart guys are expected to figure things out by themselves. They are considered resourceful, resourcefulness is an important skill and um, they test it and they, they really push you towards that very quickly because managers can trust people more if they take responsibility by themselves. That's the general idea.
so yeah. that was something like eye opening for me and in fact in a in a rather brutal way yeah. <laughs> i think i think that's true for any any scenario of like social life also for example we live in our house with uh, parents as we grow up parents also expect us to be independent right parents are not going to do yeah. everything for us all the time so the same skill is rewarded and awarded and encouraged in the companies as well uh, as resourceful as you can be as independent as you can be it is valued so just learn to yeah. be independent learn to google stack overflow is your friend i hope you guys have enjoyed this chat uh, if you are already joining a company congratulations i hope these tips are going to help you if not if you are still preparing for interview uh, interviews and if you want to get interview ready please head over to interviewready.io that is a website run by gorav it has amazing valuable content you will not regret learning from him uh, and also the second part of this video will be available on his channel where we talk about some more tips so head over to his channel as well Thank you for joining us.